In this video, we're going to go over a basic evaluation of expressions problem. And here they tell us the value of the variables that we're going to be plugging in or using in these formulas. They're saying, okay, a is equal to negative 3, and b is equal to 2, c is equal to 5, and d is equal to negative 4. And that means in the first expression, where it says 2a plus 3b, well, where you see the a and the b, you substitute the numbers negative 3 and 2. And what this means in this form, we see 2 and, and then a next to each other, that means 2 times a. So this is like 2 times negative 3. That's my way of writing multiply. Plus 3 times 2, and now we just solve it. What's 2 times negative 3? That's negative 6. Plus 3 times 2, that's 6. Two opposites add to 0. That's my first answer. And the next one, we have 4c plus d, and c is equal to 5, so it's 4 times c, which is 5, plus d, which is negative 4. So now we evaluate this, which means essentially simplify or solve. 4 times 5 is 20. Plus negative 4 means minus 4, and that's 16. And the next one, right, this one, a little bit longer, but we can handle it. It says 5ac minus 2b. Okay, so a and c, we know that's, that's negative 3, so 5 times negative 3 times 5, I'm just using this right here, minus 2 times b, which is 2. If we evaluate this one, here we have 25 times negative 3, that's negative 75, minus 2 times 2. And 2 times 2, of course, is 4. And here, if you have negative 75, when you take 4 away, it's negative 79. Okay, and we go to our last one. Here, this one says 2a over c minus d. And as a reminder, this line right here means to divide. And we have 2 times negative 3, which is our value for a, divided by 5, which is c, minus negative 4, which is d. So here, we want to evaluate the numerator and denominator, and then simplify. We get negative 6 over, well, subtracting a negative 4 is like adding, and that's 9. Here, I would say, if I reduce this, I get negative 2 thirds. And that's my answer for that one. All right, hope that helps.